Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to discuss effective free area of grills and diffusers. We are often asked for the free area of a grill for balancing purposes. Remember from the, one of the first podcasts, CFM equals area times velocity. But what area are you looking for? Plus, it's important to note that the free area and the effective free area are not the same thing. So let's say we have a 24 by 24 grill, or let's actually call it a 24 by 24 duct to start with. The area is 24 times 24 divided by 144 to convert it into feet, or four square feet. So now let's look at this grill. So the border of like one of our 300 grills kind of looks like this. And let's say we have our 24 inch duct coming over here. So when I say 24 by 24, I'm really talking about the duct size that you'd order not to lay into a ceiling. I don't want to complicate things there. So if 24 inches is your duct, then your neck is going to be undersized by half an inch. So our neck size is 23 and a half. So the neck area is 23 and a half times 23 and a half divided by 144 which is 3.84 square feet. But the face of the grill is a little smaller than that. It's 3 quarter inch smaller than the 24 by 24 dimension. So now we have 24 minus 3 quarters is 23 and a quarter. And so that area is 23 and a quarter times 23 and a quarter divided by 144 is 3.75 square feet. But there are also blades in the grill face, so let's draw in some blades. Let's make a little bit more room. So let me draw the grill as if you're looking at the grill. Draw in the blades. Obviously this is not to scale, much like most of my drawings. So let's say that the center to center distance is 3 quarter inch between blades, and each blade is an eighth of an inch wide. So 23 and a quarter, which is our face dimension, divided by 3 quarters is 31. So there's 31 openings in our grill here. Each blade will take up some of that, so 3 quarter minus 2 half blades, which totals 1 full blade, or 1 eighth, is 5 eighths inch wide, and they're 23 and a quarter inches long. So now the area that you can see through this grill, if you will, is 5 eighths times 3 and a quarter divided by 144 times the 31 openings, which is 3.13 square feet. Okay, so we're not exactly done yet because the air doesn't always fill the exact space of the openings. Let me make a little room over here. So let's say these are blades in a grill. So the air doesn't come in exactly straight, fill up this whole area, and blow through this way. As the air flows through the grill and past the blades, it's compressed slightly. And there's also friction between the air and the blades. All of this further reduces the total free area that the air is passing through. So kind of like this, so say the air is being compressed here the free area that you're actually getting airflow through is more like this little section here instead of the whole blade area that's open. So this is the effective free area. It's referred to as A sub K. So the equation becomes CFM equals A sub K times velocity. A sub K is something that the grill manufacturer has to calculate by measuring the airflow and face velocity in a lab. Because of this, you'll often see flow factors published by GRD manufacturers for different types of models. And that is effective free area. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.